Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will learn about the mean vector and kind of I need to assume at this moment that you have some idea about the vector, about the metrics, but today I will show you how to calculate the mean vector. And the reason behind is because um, in my next few lessons we will focus actually on a principal component analysis, PCA, and there you need this mathematical intuition like what is mean vector is. So let's consider you have a matrix which is x and probably it has data like this 4, 1, minus 1, 3, 3, 5. What does it mean? It means it's a matrix of basically number of observation n is here 3 and number of feature is 2 so it's basically 3 by 2 dimensional matrix and I'm asking you to find out the mean vector mean vector normally we denote by like this and the formula is 1 by n x transpose into j okay what is j here j is basically a matrix of n by 1. So that means in this case the j will be 1, 1, 1 because n is 3. Okay. So <coughs> ultimately our formula if we put, so let's do this way x transpose will look like something like this 4 minus 1 3 1 3 5 okay so this is the x transpose so now if we put it into the formula so what will happen what is the value of 3 n 3 x transpose is 4 minus 1 3 here 1 3 5 and corresponding j is 1 1 1 so if we do this calculation so matrix calculation so 4 into 1 is 4 minus 1 so basically just keep the plus and there minus 1 because now you multiply this and then 3 into 3 so plus 3 okay and the second calculation again 1 to 1 plus 3 plus 5 so it will be 1 by 3 and it will be 4 plus 3 7 minus 1 6 and it is 9 so again matrix multiplication so ultimately we will get 2 3 so this will be our final result so that's mean the mean vector will be 2 by 3 understand this mathematical concept this will be needed when we we'll go through the principal component analysis PCA but right now whatever we discuss that is called mean vector Okay, and in the next class, we'll also learn about covariance metrics. Okay, so mean vector, and then we'll learn about the covariance metrics because both of this will be needed for understanding the principal component analysis. Thank you.